Welcome back to another fabulous edition of Urban Green Bee. Today I'm going to show you some footage of my observation hive that is in trouble. Um, we've lost a lot of the adults, which I'm attributing to winter mortality, um, but we've lost almost all of them. So we don't really even have any bees that I would consider non-nurse bees. All of the live bees are working the frames. Uh, there's like a few that are wandering around that are ready to go get nectar should it warm up or something. But hardly any uh, guard bees or gatherers or anything. The queen is still laying. Um, I verified that within the last 24 hours. But some of the brood it has some very scary symptoms and I'm going to show that to you um, because I'm trying to get people's opinions of what they think it is. I immediately started diagnosing them with every disease possible out there because I had the internet next to me. Um, it's like when you have an illness and you go online and you uh, diagnose yourself with like Indian diarrhea or something but you've never been to India. Hmm? Anyways, so let me know what you think. I'm going to go ahead and show you the brood now and explain what we see just so you can, if you can't see it very clearly, understand what I'm looking at. So, look at all those dead adults. Now, you may or may not know, if you're not familiar with honeybee diseases, American fowl brood and uh, European fowl brood only affects the brood. So the adults should not be dying like this. Is it winter mortality? Maybe. Is it something else? Maybe. So, let's start, let me see. It's hard to get a very clear image, but let me get close so you can, I have the macro setting on, so hopefully it'll, there we go, adjust. So, I'm just going to go down until I see something that looks irregular. I know around here we have some, the problem is that the bees are constantly working the frame, so they're always covering it up. Let's see, I think some right here. If we can get them to move. Hmm. Ah. Alright, girls. Move it, ladies. I want to see what's underneath. So, kind of look underneath. I know it takes a second for the camera to focus. But what you're looking for with American Fowl Brood is essentially sunken caps that are a little bit discolored and have torn holes in them. Um, is that one right there? Uh, right there? A candidate? Is it sunken enough? How do you know? Uh, I, I can't tell. Uh, if we do have something like that, it's a very early stage because what you'll find on the websites is the whole frame. In any of these references, the whole frame is afflicted. Um, and here, I'm having a difficult time showing you, but let's check the other side. Maybe, maybe we can get some less less activity so you can see more of the frames. Just as much activity. Okay, that's super. Can we find any? Hmm. Ah, there's a dead cell. Can you see in that one? It's dark and murky looking. Right there hard to see. Maybe I should get my, um, my flashlight. Okay. I'm going to go get my uh, headband, not headband, like headlamp, and uh, let's try that out. I haven't brought my nerdiness level to this degree, but let's, let's go ahead and do it. So it has a bunch of different settings. If you're out to sea and you can't use any real light, huh? huh? Look at that. Okay. And it just fits on. Now I have a really big head, so I'm going to need its biggest setting. You don't get cooler than this. Huh? 
How's my hair look? Okay, hold on. I need some chapstick. Um, I can see myself in a reflection. That is awesome. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Look at all those settings. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to go and start a new video with my new accessory. And um, hopefully I can get some better brood shots.